People often ask, what does Odin do exactly? It's a great question, and we're going to try to answer that question in this video. The simplest answer is that Odin can save you hours, days, or even weeks worth of work in the development of custom tools for your Unity project. Whether you are a solo developer or working in a team, saving time means shipping your project faster and getting it into customers' hands that much sooner. And by tools, we mean code with easy-to-use interfaces that can automate parts of your workflow or help to make the implementation of your code more reliable. At its core, Odin is a tool that builds other tools. It helps to simplify and streamline the process of making custom editor tools in Unity. These tools can then further speed up the development of your project and make the creation of content easier and less error-prone. Now, if you're just getting into Unity or starting to learn game development, you may not need custom tools just yet. And the truth is that Odin may not be a significant help and you may not see the biggest benefits until you get more comfortable with Unity and your projects get more complex. But if you have some commercial hopes for your current project, then it's very likely that you'll need some custom tooling along the way as your project grows and develops. So to help in that process, Odin provides over 80 attributes plus custom classes and functions that serve as building blocks for your tools, all of which can be used to create custom inspectors and custom editor windows in less time than only using the built-in Unity tools. For example, Odin provides extended support in the inspector for additional types such as dictionaries, stacks, and queues. Odin comes with dozens of attributes that provide control of the appearance, layout, and organization of an inspector. Buttons and button groups can also be quickly added to inspectors to call functions and allow easy testing of code. If you're just exploring Odin, make sure to check out our What is Odin video as well as odininspector.com to see a full list of the attributes and their functionality. Okay. So maybe you're asking, but can't I already build custom inspectors and editor windows in Unity without a paid asset? And yes, yes, you most definitely can. Odin itself is programmed with C Sharp and makes use of some of the built-in Unity functionality. So it's not really a matter of if you need Odin to build tools, rather it's much more about how much time can you save by using Odin to build those tools. Let's take a look at one of the most common uses of Odin, that being the modification and customization of an inspector. Now there are endless reasons to customize an inspector, adding a button to run code, to do some error checking based on particular values, maybe altering what is being displayed based on values such as a toggle that controls the visibility of additional fields. Or you may just want to organize the inspector to take less space on the screen. To do this without Odin, you need to create a second class that will override the default inspector, which is simple enough, but as a result, you will then most likely need to recreate each and every one of the fields you want to have access to in the inspector. This can quickly lead to bulky scripts and doubly so if you want to add in more complex features. And again, this may be all well and good, especially if you only want to modify a handful of inspectors in your project. But then as your project moves forward, you may find that you need to add a field or maybe remove a field from a class with a custom inspector. And it turns out an added field won't show up until you add more logic to your custom inspector. And if you remove a field without removing the relevant code from the custom inspector, Unity will throw errors until you fix it. Now we've all made this system work, but it takes time and effort. Time that could be spent polishing an aspect of your game or adding an additional game mechanic. With Odin, there is no second script needed as all the modifications to the inspector are made by adding attributes to fields and functions. This means one less file in your project folders and one less file to maintain as your project grows. This also means that when you remove a field, you can simply remove the attributes and the field is gone. If you want to add a field, well, it'll show up with or without attributes, just like it would without any customization. All this means making changes to classes is easier, faster, and best of all, it won't break your custom inspector code because there isn't any. Now many tools will not be connected to a particular scene object and will be best suited to be in an editor window. Once again, everything that you can do with Odin can be done without it, but using Odin can save significant amounts of time. Building an editor window in Unity without Odin requires much of the same or similar code to build a custom inspector. This means building up each field, slider, or button, and then connecting them to the appropriate functions or variables. Odin provides two types of editor windows out of the box. The first is the Odin editor window, which inherits from Unity's own editor window, but with extra functionality. The second is Odin menu editor window, which has a menu tree, which allows easy access to scriptable objects and much more. 
An Odin editor window needs a function to open the window, just like any other editor window. But beyond that, it will then function just like creating a custom inspector. Rather than building up the structure of the window in an on GUI function, Odin editor windows are built up with attributes. If you want a text area to show, simply create a string field and toss on a text area attribute. Want a slider? Create an integer or a float field and add a range attribute. Want to organize your fields with tabs? Simply make use of the tab group attribute. Buttons? Just add a button attribute to a function and it works. All the organizational tools, all the nice formatting, and all the added functionality of an Odin inspector is immediately and easily available in an Odin editor window. If you want to add some extra functionality, you can still make use of the ongoing function, just make sure that you call base.ongui so that you don't lose the Odin magic. But what if Odin doesn't have a built-in attribute for the thing you want to do? Well, you can easily make your own integrated solution. You can make custom attributes, drawers, attributes, property processors, property resolvers, custom validators, validation rules, and a whole lot more. And if that list seems overwhelming, well, the point is that Odin has been carefully designed in a modular fashion to be easily extendable and adaptable in many different ways. The features that you use every day in Odin are already built on top of this highly extendable core, with exactly the same API that you have at your disposal. This means that your own additions and modifications can integrate seamlessly into the pre-existing Odin feature set as if it was built into Odin from the start. So in a way, you could say that Odin isn't just a great tool for making tools, but it's also a great tool for making tools that make other tools. So we hope this has helped answer the question of why Odin, why you need Odin, and why your project will benefit from the use of Odin. If you have further questions, make sure to add them in the comments below, or come on over to the Serenix Discord and ask your question there. And until next time, happy game designing.